you know, guys. I find it extremely funny when people try to defend Activision and Call of Duty with every single weird move that they make, and especially when we get talking about X Defiant and, you know, alternative options of having fun instead of COD. And while it's kind of fun saying, you know, the COD killer, when people inevitably respond with the only thing that can kill COD is COD itself, or Activision. It's just funny how the timing works on things like this because you would imagine that after all of these controversies and after all of this bad publicity that Activision would maybe just settle down and not do anything for, I don't know, like a week. And you know what this reminds me of guys? Away from gaming, just imagine this in real life where you're at work or you're at a party or in class and that one guy that you don't like comes around and immediately in your head you're like, oh shit, here we go. And you can already tell it's just gonna be some stupid bullshit, but then he starts talking, and you hear out everything he needs to say, and you just look at him like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's essentially what I feel when Activision comes out of nowhere and says fuck you to their own community when we're over here playing X Defiant. If you guys didn't hear, this comes out from Charlie Intel as breaking news. Activision announces that Call of Duty Warzone Caldera will be shutting down later this year. Only current Warzone will be available after. The shutdown date is for September 21st, 2023. This does not affect MW 2019, Black Ops Cold War, or Vanguard's multiplayer. And and right out of the horse's mouth, this comes out from Call of Duty's official Twitter, as Warzone moves ahead with exciting new experiences to come, Warzone Caldera will shut down on September 21st. All Caldera gameplay, player progression, inventories, and online services will expire on that date. Now, I have a quick challenge for the gooch lickers that always try to defend Activision and Call of Duty nowadays. Please answer me this. Using actual logic and reasoning and common sense, why the fuck would Activision do this? For what reason? What is the point in doing something like this? And trust me, I've already seen all of the arguments in favor of Activision talking about, oh, they want people to play the new client on Warzone 2, or oh, it costs too much to keep the servers up for Warzone 1 and Caldera. Guys, there is no logical reason here. You can give out your reasons and your excuses for Activision, but none of it actually makes any sense. Warzone Caldera came out last year. Guys, last year, am I tripping? Am I wrong here? Like, yeah, Warzone 1 and, you know, Verdansk, that came out a few years ago. But Caldera specifically is like a year and a half old max. I don't understand the point. I understand if they want people to start playing Warzone 2, but you know what you should do? Make Warzone 2 a lot more appealing for your community. How are you actively gonna cut out an entire chunk of your community? Which by the way, a lot of these people have spent hundreds if not thousands of dollars on microtransactions in your games. And although Activision are a bunch of clowns for this, I'm also looking at a lot of these COD fanboys, I'm looking at all of the gooch lickers, and if you are somebody who has spent money on bundles back in Caldera or back in Warzone, expecting to just have those bundles forever, even when we told you that when Warzone 2 comes out, they're not transferring over, and you kept on buying bundles? You get no sympathy from the Scadmaster, I'm sorry, like, that is one of the worst decisions I've seen people make in Call of Duty in quite some time. And by the way, to the people that did buy bundles in support of Activision, or not really understanding what it means to support Activision that way, you realize how badly you're getting cucked right now? Like, guys, I, I don't feel bad for these people at all, I even responded to Call of Duty's tweet saying, trying hard to feel bad for people who bought bundles, but I just can't. And that's just the truth. Even if you're a fan of the Scad Master or you're somebody who regularly views my channel, look, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I try telling you guys, okay, I try telling as many people as humanly possible that buying bundles is just not a good idea in Call of Duty. And I understand the whole thing with like, if you're playing Warzone for free, so you can afford to spend a little bit extra money on bundles and microtransactions. And you know, I understand that side of the coin, but I've even told people before that I don't expect all of these games to stay connected throughout this entire time. And that's exactly what's happened. All of these games are literally obsolete. Your bundles and your skins, all of your customization, all of your progression, 
It's all gone. Yeah, you have a couple of months, and by the way, if you if you manage to purchase any bundles between now and the last day of Caldera, you need to go to the fucking gulag. I'm sorry, like, you need a life sentence down there with Joe Seacott and fucking Hutch. And look, I understand that Activision wants people to play Warzone 2 more, but this is exactly what happens when you launch something shitty. You shoot yourself in the foot because now people want to go back to the original. A lot of people had an issue with the movement in Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2 and Warzone 2, so they stayed back in Warzone 1. If you didn't want this sort of discrepancy, Activision, then guess what? You should have been looking at your developers. Hey, Infinity Ward, how about you lock in and not deliver us some fucking dog shit? Because now look at the mess that you're in. This is why I tell you guys that the launch of anything is extremely important because yeah, Warzone 2 has improved greatly, apparently, according to a lot of people, but so many months have passed that there's probably a lot of people who have just simply stopped playing Warzone 2. Now you need that player base to kind of come back to life. So getting rid of Warzone 1 kind of just forces people to start playing Warzone 2. And you'll definitely need that for the competition against X Defined when that comes out because trust me, to the people who are trying to say Call of Duty is better than X Defiant, look, you can have your opinion, I respect it, let me just tell you, X Defiant is actually fucking fun, Call of Duty is not, at least not right now. And if you still think you're having fun on it, after they keep on cucking you, making you look like fucking Sneeko, you are tripping mammoth titties. Look, the fact of the matter is, a lot of people have essentially been duped because Activision's just not gonna honor any of the skins or the bundles or any of the money that you poured into Warzone 1. So if you end up going into Warzone 2 and you think they're gonna be like, oh, you know what, for buying so many bundles, here's a few COD points and get you on your feet again and you can start buying some new shit in Warzone 2. One, I wouldn't expect that at all. And two, if you're still buying things after getting cucked this badly, I don't know what to tell you. The Scad Master's already given you advice on what to do with your money in Call of Duty. And I know a lot of people get pissed off when I do that. You tell me who's incentivized you to make better decisions with your money, fucking Activision or the Scad Master. And especially knowing now that Activision <laughs> does not give a flying fuck about any of the money that you poured into it, yeah, I would honestly think twice about this one. And this is the thing, I know when you start playing Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3 next year, or if you just start playing MW 2019 Part 2 right now in Warzone 2, I know there's gonna be a lot of bundles calling your name, there's gonna be a lot of cool skins and cosmetics. Don't fall for it again, guys, please, please. And on the topic of not falling for things again, Charlie Intel tweeted this out just as a reminder. Activision called Warzone Pacific and Caldera the new era of Warzone in 2021. So while they're doing this whole rebranding for Call of Duty and for Warzone, getting rid of the 2.0 and remaking the logo, don't fall for the hype and think that things are different and new now. If you really want to compare and contrast, I think a lot of people prefer Warzone 1 over Warzone 2. So it's not like we're upgrading into the new era, quote unquote. It's literally a downgrade, so why would you waste any money on it? Look, I say this with hopes that people have common sense, but Gooch Lickers have proven me otherwise many, many times. So if you're one of those people that thinks you got cucked, this is where I'll tell you just join the good side. You know, like get away from the Gooch Lickers over at Activision. Come join us. Over here we use common sense and logic and reasoning, and you'll probably save money. And to be completely honest, now that I think about this, that's just another portion of the community that could use Activision's wrongdoings and mistakes against them. We already got people switching over to X Defiant and talking about how X Defiant is better, which honestly it is. We got people that talk about Activision like they're grooming kids and shit like that. We have people on Nick Merck's side after that entire drama. People who just got cucked out of Warzone 1. Please join us in not giving Activision any more money. If you feel annoyed by Activision's decision on this, honestly, don't buy Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3. Don't start playing MW 2019 Part 2. If you want to play Warzone 2, you know what, that's fair because it's free to play, but don't buy any cosmetics because if this isn't a lesson, then I don't know what is. As soon as you think, oh my god, Warzone 2 is actually not that bad and it's free to play, I'm gonna start buying bundles and cosmetics. As soon as the next thing comes out, all of this shit, it's gonna be obsolete just like Warzone 1. It's gonna be gone, it's gonna be pointless. Learn from these mistakes, guys, please. 
Look, I'm just as confused on Activision's move as a lot of you guys are. All I can tell you is, there are many better things to spend your money on, and before anybody looks at the Scat Master and says, Oh, you bought the game for $70, fooly. You know what? I made all of my money back, and I get to talk shit for fun and for more money. And on top of that, I get to encourage a lot of people to not spend money on this shit franchise. Say what you want about the Scat Master buying the game, but I can tell you one thing. I didn't buy any cosmetics that are no longer valid. I'm sorry. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. Why do you genuinely think Activision did something like this? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodles. It's been a very long time since the weekend. It's been a very long time and I'm weak. It's been a very long time since you seen me. Don't know why.